Hello friends, in this video we will see how to upload images to database in MVC3 Razor. Now, uh, in order to store in the database, we are converting the image to bytes and we are storing the image bytes in the database and we are using var binary data type in the database to store those bytes. And let's see the table design. Now this is a table with four columns that is image id image name image bytes and extension and we are using var binary max for storing the image bytes and image id is our identity primary key column and let's see through the application how it looks this is my controller and this is my action method which renders a view from which we can upload the image now if we go to this view a view is very simple it has one a form it has a form and which will be posted to upload image method of image controller and form method is post and here we are using input type submit button to post the image file when the image file will be selected using the input type file and when the form is posted this the form will be the image will be posted to upload image action method and this file will be the image file which is posted from the view and we are passing this file to the service method which finally converts the bytes converts the image to the byte image bytes and this image will be stored in the db now let's run the application and see how it goes now currently i have 13 images already stored in the database you can see 13 here so this is my UI and now I click on browse I select any image file now I suppose I select this image file and I say upload now when the form is posted that is when the upload button is clicked the image file is present or we are accepting it as a parameter to upload image method now you can see it shows the information about the image that is it's of type jpeg and the name of the file and in the input stream you have uh, the image stored now when you go to the service method here we are preparing the object of image type and here we have converted it into image bytes now if you go to this method it reads we are using a binary reader class to read all the image bytes and we are returning the bytes and finally the image is stored in the database now if you go and check the database you will be able to see 14 images so this is our 14th image which is stored in the database so this is how the image bytes can be stored in the database and we can store the images to database by converting it to image bytes. Thank you friends.